Good morning, friends. It's Angelina and Dima here from Walking Edge World. Yesterday we were pretty exhausted and tired from the very hot day and hiking many kilometers on the sun. So we didn't even say goodbye, but we came to the village Liskala in the camping with a proper name, which turned out to be a nice, spacious place, not very expensive and with the new facilities, so we like it quite a lot. We would even stay for the extra night, but it's actually closing today. Yeah, it's such a coincidence. And so yeah, for today we plan to do a shorter day because as we said yesterday we got pretty exhausted and right now maybe you can see from our faces they're a bit worn out from yesterday's sun and today we can see that the weather can be clear as well and sunny. So yeah, and we start a bit late again, <laughs> so you can imagine. So for today we want to do just maybe 13, 14 kilometers depending on how the trail goes, up to 15. And we'll go through the natural park of Mangri, then go over the mountain, which will be 100 meters up and then down, probably with some you know changes in between, and come to the village Estartit, which is like another small fishing village was originally the same as La Scala, and there we're excited to see the islands of Medans. This is like also the, the natural reserve, marine reserve, and we think it will be quite an interesting sight to see. And also right now we'll show you a bit more around La Scala, because yesterday again we didn't have enough time for that. So yeah, going to follow the seaside as close as possible today again, and let's start the day. now just past the busy town Escala because it is Sunday morning and there's like local market and stuff and there's lots of people on the streets and on the beach so yeah and now we're out fortunately on the more quiet trail today we can see that we'll be following quite a lot more natural paths in the forest along the cliffs which we really like so yeah really hope that we continue the same way and, but the weather is really very really hot today, maybe even hotter than yesterday. Maybe it feels like that because we are tired of it. But yes, continue on with this trail. We're walking close to the open sea and the amazing views of the blue endless sea is amazing and also we can see the other side of the coast and just two days ago if you remember we were talking like how curious the shape of the land was of the half circle or half moon and we were just right there on the other side talking about this side and now we come all the way 
here to this point and can see that part of the trail, Captain Krauss and everything. Yeah, so this is like spectacular here. This pass is very rocky and uneven and some rocks can be very spiky. So you have to watch your step and go slowly. The path continues to be very scenic, gone mostly in the shade and it has a lot of uphills and downhills. But it's fine because the fresh wind that is cooling all our bodies. The marking has been great so far, very precise directions. Yeah, right, on every other tree there is a white red mark of GR92 and also there is a cross when there is crossroads or can create a confusion. So we've been pretty happy with that. And yeah, this is like the perfect path that we've been dreaming of, I think, <laughs> on this trail, very natural in the forest. And also, yeah, you can see like in the sea, it's very nice as well if you want to go sailing. There is lots of caves and some, you know, openings in the rocks that you can explore and we can see many people doing that. And yeah, there's like amazing, amazing place to walk and also to sail.
I got away from the coastline for a little while following the journey too because there is just some little path crossing from the main road to the caves and you know to the cliffs to go there just one way so because we need to do a certain amount of kilometers today we are of course going the straight way there but we already got the pretty nice views of the coastline and still going to get more today so we are fine with that and this trail is pretty nice going in the forest, you know, with this smell of the pine tree, which is really nice. Especially mixing like with the seaside air, you know, like salty and spe specific type of air and yeah. So yeah, we are following this one and we see that there is still some kind of uphill left for us to do. Maybe 50, 70 meters, we don't actually know, but in this way we are able to do it nicely in the shade and in the fresh air. Coming now to the town we started, getting close to our campground, uphill was very gentle, climbing step by step to the top and then coming down. And overall we enjoyed a lot today's trail. And the weather was very nice too. Partly cloudy, it was making our hike easier today. Yeah, it's quite very contrasty weather to yesterday, when there was no single shade and there was nowhere to hide for us. And today we are hiking through the forest, you know, half of the trail and there is clouds in the sky so yeah we've been really happy about it and also it was very scenic day hiking uh, through the path in the mountains very close to the ridge close to the seaside it was perfectly amazing today and yeah for tomorrow and for the next days we see the similar kind of trail expects us through the mountains and with some amazing viewpoints probably so yeah have high expectations hope that they will come true and the weather like today is just ideal for hiking so also pray for that that it will come true and yeah so I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next episode and bye bye and see you soon thank you so much for watching Leave a comment below to let us know how you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hiking adventures. Don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified about every new video. Also visit our website walkingnatureworld.com to find detailed hike reports with pictures and maps. Have a beautiful day everybody and until very soon!